Welcome to the series of Living Through Gita, where I'll touch on one more life lesson that I've taken away from the first chapter. Krishna, being the supreme personality of Godhead, knew from the outset that Arjun was going to win the war. So he really wanted to make sure that Arjun should do his duty of fighting the war by rising above all the conflicted feelings that were running through him and making him fearful. Similarly, our lives is a battlefield for each and every one of us with all the dualities we face of the ups and downs, happiness and sadness, the challenges, the sufferings. So Krishna wants that we enjoy this journey without any conflicted feelings, untouched by dualities. While reading through the Bhagavad Gita, you know, I was thinking that how nice it would be to also have Krishna by my side so that I could ask all the questions during this journey. And I'm sure each and every student of Gita would have come across this thought as well. Krishna, he chose to be Arjun's charioteer because Arjun was filled with humility and gratitude. So if we want Krishna to be our life charioteer, we need to let go of the ego in subtle and in big situations in life so that we can practice humility and show gratitude for everything that we have in our lives. Gratitude makes you beautiful from within and that is when God is attracted to you automatically to help you deal with all the dualities of life and rise above it. When you meet a person who has these qualities, you will feel a different aura around them that will energize you as well. I also talk about the power of gratitude in another video, which I'll link in the description box below. So with that, I hope that each and every one of you tuned in will start taking small steps to practice humility and gratitude on a daily basis. With that, I'll see you next week with another lesson. Until next time.